Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're going into the St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store in Plano, Texas. We are looking for jewelry and purses for resale on eBay and YouTube. Hit that thumbs up for this video. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscription bell. Most importantly on the notification bell, you will know when I post new live videos, thrifting, and also live buy it now sells for jewelry and purses. You can find my purses also on eBay at ebay.com forward slash usr forward slash costume jeweler so a big store with lots of purses and jewelry let's see over here so we'll look at the jewelry first there's lots quite a bit of jewelry in here that's a pretty stone Now, that we don't have the best lighting in this store. I like this glass, too, that kind of reminds me of real gold, but I don't believe it is. So we don't have a lot of great lighting in this store, which makes it kind of difficult to see things. But we're going to see on the best you can. This store is notorious for having lots of beautiful pieces of jewelry. We are getting this, guys. We are getting this one. So this is real stone. This is not acrylic. Some kind of a blue agate. So we're getting that one. I'm going to look closer at that um, lobster glass, too, to see, because it does look like it would be gold. I don't think it is gold, but it does look like a beautiful gold color. That's an unusual beaded necklace. This I love a lot. Look at this. Now that right there is gorgeous. Wow. Golly. Let's zoom in on those links. That is beautiful. So that's going home with CJ. That is gorgeous. Just look at each one of these. So these are glass. Let's zoom in on that and see if you can see it a little bit better. You got the florets on there also. So that's going home. This kind of reminds me of Brighton a little bit. It does have a mark on it. Let's see what it says. I'm not sure what that says. Live your life. Hmm. I don't know what brand that is. What is this one? Let's just see. So here's what we've got here. So this one says live your life. There's not a designer mark on it. I do like that quote though. I don't think I'm going to get it just because of that quote. This has a little bit of rub to it. I like this one. Ooh, this one's pretty too. This is heavy. Look at this. And it would be missing a stone. Look at this. So I'm going to pass on it, unless, let's see what the brand is. Not sure of that brand, but I'm passing on it anyway just because it's missing stones, but I might could, use, I might could reuse that for something. This one looks like J. Crew. Huh. I wonder what that is. I'm gonna pass on that one. Still like this a lot, but I just don't know what brand that is. 
But I wish it were not missing a stone. I think that this would probably be hard to find a replacement. This store does have lots of jewelry though, guys. See these cases over here? So lots of jewelry. So we're not going to look at all of it. I'm only going to look at things that I think I want to get. Because there's just too much. Well, that's cute. Zoom in on that and see if there's... See if there's any missing rhinestones. There is one there on the end missing. Let's see what the brand is. Oh, that's Guess. That's cool. It's a guest necklace. Missing one rhinestone. Right there on the very end, which should be easily replaceable, but I'm not sure that I'm going to get that. I think I'm going to pass on it. What is this one? It's bad. Let's see. Let's get it untangled. Huh. Kind of like it. Looks like they per put their purses in bins again before they had them hanging up. But it's looking like they put them in bins. Nothing here, and see their purses up here. Can't tell what they are by looking at them from that far away. We've got a few things. I see a tooled leather purse. It's got a few wallets here. We're just gonna kind of go over them fairly quickly. There's so many to look at. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe it. Just can't believe it. So we're gonna go fairly quickly. Cause I can't believe it. I know I only said that like ten times. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, we got some stuff over here. Let's see what we got. So let's see these purses over here first. I guess they hang their best ones, what they believe is their best, up behind the counter. Santa Claus. Got a little bit left time left for Christmas. Somebody's already looked at the tag on this one. There's not a tag on it. There's people like me out here shopping for sure, aren't there? Look at this cute little hobo-ish bag. I wonder if that's real leather. Let's see. Fashion Express. It fooled us, didn't it? A Fashion Express purse fold me. I thought we was going to get into some real turquoise there. Not really. Vera. Now I've come in here and loaded up on purses before. Lots of great purses. Let's see if these bags look like any... I don't think so. Look at all that jewelry. Look at all that. Jewelry and purses. Bags and bling, as CC says. She says, go pick, pack out. CJ, go pack out some bags and bling now. We've got to have some sales. We have got to have some sales. Yeah, the last time I was in here, there was lots of purses that they had out. And I mean lots. I may collaborate with this uh, lady that 
does a lot of purse. She'll do some up, up, um, what do you call it? I forget what you call it, no purses there. Not upscale, but anyway, we're gonna get together and, and do some ideas on some purses that I'm gonna resell on YouTube. It's gonna be based on some things she's gonna do to the purses, but it's gonna take a special kind of purse before we do what we're gonna do. I know that sounds very vague, but that's okay. When it comes to fruition, you guys will be the first to know about it. But we are gonna collaborate on some things. I'm gonna bring some of my thrifted purses to her. I love this ring right here. We're gonna get to take a look at that too in just a second. Can I see a couple uh, pieces of jewelry, please, when you have a chance? Thank you. I said a couple pieces. I haven't really looked to see what I want. So, guys, check that out. So, it's good condition. It's not faded. There's not any marks. And it's pretty long. But we're going to get that one. So, I'll take this one. Here's an owl stretch ring. So here's a pretty one too, look at this. So I'll take this one also. I love this cross. Can I see this cross necklace here please? The red one and also the the clear one right there too. Those are beautiful cross necklaces. We're gonna see if there's anything else we wanna see before we let him go. I'll take a look at this necklace right here also. Thanks. And those uh, rhinestone earrings right there in the very back, to closer towards you. They're round and they're just all clear stones. They're pretty big. Look at these pink butterfly earrings. Those are pretty. So this necklace here, guys, is Robert Rose, and I've had that before. I haven't had this particular one, but I've had this necklace. The brand. Look at that. So that's Robert Rose. That's not acrylic. That's glass. Look how the sun shines through the light. So we're gonna get that one. So that's a pretty long necklace as you can see there. So we're gonna get that one. Let me see if I can bring it back in for you again. Not marked, but still pretty. Not gonna get it. These are earrings. So this brooch right here, guys, has a little bit of oxidation on it, but it's a, it's like a ribbon, and it is, um, I think it's Victorian because it's a C-clasp. So you see, let's zoom in on that C-clasp real quick, and I'll show you why I'm gonna get it. It's usually ind indicative that it's uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. So we're gonna get that one. No idea what this is, if it's a hairpin or what, but look at that. Maybe a scarf clip, doesn't look old. Now guys, look at this honker of a necklace right here. This is not designer marked, but this is big and gaudy. Just look at this. And I'm gonna show you the cross, but look at the chain. This is super big and gaudy. Look at the, look at the cross. Wow, and that's all glass. That is not acrylic, so we're getting that for sure.
I'll take this one right here. I'll pass on. I'll take. Okay. So here's a stretch bracelet, guys. These are. They feel like they're glass. I think I'm going to pass on it. Maybe. We'll see. So there's one, not this bracelet, but I'm going to take a look at it. Now I like this one. This is toggle clasp. Look how pretty that is. Glass stones. Huh. I'm going to pass on it though. I do like it, but I don't like it that much to buy it. What is this? Spangle bracelet. Okay, here's the reason I took this off. I wanted to see this one. I'm going to pass on it though. This bangle here is nice. So look closely at this bangle, guys has pretty big rhinestones in it. It's brass color. I really like this one. This is heavy. But I'm going to debate on that one while I'm looking at other pieces of jewelry because I'm just not sure. I do like it. I'm not sure that I love it enough to buy it for resale. Would have any of you have purchased this one had I bought it? So just tons more, lots more to look at. I'm not sure what that says on the back of that pendant. What does that say? I can't tell from here. I have to look that up close. I like the stone on that necklace. This cross is interesting. I don't think I'm going to take a look at it, though. Now, I've had Kabi before, guys. Kabi can be expensive. That's C-A-B-I. We'll see how much that is. Usually good jewelry. So this is their sterling section. As you can tell, it says sterling. Does not mean I'm going to buy it. Look at these cuties right here. Look at this. Now those are beautiful. You have the moon on one earring, and then you have the sun on the other. Now those might be worth looking at. I do like that. This pendant here is nice. Looks like Verme. Not sure of this emblem here. What necklace that is. If that is special or not, look at this one. So there's a couple pieces in here I'm going to look at. Definitely not all of them. <clears throat> look at this fancy belt buckle from 2019 Liberty Stampede, Stampede Roping Champion belt buckle. So these are clip-on. So look at all this guys think it can't be overwhelming it most certainly can unless you enjoy it like me then it's not overwhelming it's like digging through treasure and i like this one i like that one i also like this one not that and the blue one well but i'm gonna check this one out because it has stones all the way up And then look at this.
Well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna look at that stone one after all. I'm gonna pass on it. And the one I'm talking about is this one right here. I'm not gonna look at that. I will pass on it. Let's see if there's any bracelets that we can't leave the store without. I don't know if there will be or not. The way they have these things stacked sometimes is really hard to see. I like this up here. Look at that. You can't really reach that at all. There's one there. Oh, it's broken. I believe it's broken. So I'm going to pass on that. So we're going to look as close as we can at these. Some amber colored ones there in the back. See how they're just everywhere. I mean, there's so many that you really have to pay attention to the detail of them to see if there's anything that you want to look at because it's hard. It is not easy. Like here's a necklace I might be interested in looking at. You probably can't see it very well, but there it is. It's beads that are woven on a necklace. I may take a look at that one. Now I know nothing about these guys, but we're gonna take a close look at these best we can. So look at this. So I'm going to show you as close up as I can, then we're going to zoom in on it, and you guys can tell me. So these look like ceramic, maybe Chinese beads. I'm not sure. We're going to zoom in on a few of them and see if we can tell. These are really pretty to me, and I'm definitely going to take those home. But I know nothing about them. So you guys tell me what these are. So it looks like hand knotted. The beads look like they might be ceramic. But look at each bead. We'll take a look at a few of them. And I'm going to zoom in. We're going to get up close and personal with these beads real quick. So you guys can help me identify what these are. So probably hand painted. Love them. It's like a kid in a candy store. But we're getting those. We are getting those beautiful beads. I do think they're ceramic. So hand knotted. Looks like they're hand painted, has Chinese writing on them different flowers. And I just spotted a beautiful Florida pendant necklace. My gosh. Do you guys love this Chinese beaded necklace? What is what is that? in that box. Look at that. I'm going to have to get her to show me that too. Say earrings and pendant. Very small cross necklace there. We may check that out. Looks like they got some wallets right there we'll check out also. And then look at this Florida pendant. Isn't that cute? Then you have the heart right there at the capital sure if this has marked anything on the clasp or not. It is not. It's a cute necklace though. I think this might be thinking this might be sterling not for sure but it's a cute little necklace. And this is Mark 925 so this one is sterling. So this is a beautiful this pendant is probably about one half inch one half inch long so it's a small one but still cute it's sterling 
we're gonna get that. I don't think this cross necklace is branded. It does not matter, it's still pretty. It does come with earrings, look at that. So you have this set here. It's a very pretty set. I'm gonna pass on it though, but I do think it's pretty. So we're gonna pass on that and we're gonna pass on the um, state of Florida. So I don't hardly find men's wallets. This is a Wilson's leather wallet. I do like to try to find men's wallets because I don't ever find any for resale. This looks like a vintage alligator. It doesn't look like a wallet though. It looks like probably held pictures. Still cute. So this guy's right here is a Park Lane necklace and Park Lane is vintage. So let's take a look at this necklace to see if it's something you would buy. So while that's a vintage Park Lane, it is beautiful. I am gonna pass on it. The reason I'm gonna pass on it is it's marked a little bit up there versus what you can make on it. And you do know that I resell purses and jewelry, so you definitely as a reseller have to watch what you spend. But that is beautiful, but I'm gonna pass on it. Those are little bitty boots. So guys, we're going to check out and that's it. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post new live buy it nows as well as jewelry auctions, which those are live on YouTube, jewelry buy it nows and auctions. And subscribe to my channel guys. And thank you so much for watching and following me and supporting my channel. And until the next live video, I will see you guys later. Take care.